<laughs> Welcome back to the channel. All right, so lots happened since I made my last video. Um, to keep it simple, because I walked out of my car again for a purpose. Um, doo -doo, hello, officer. All right, so I went into that door, and then that cop car pulled up. And then when I was walking back, and there was another, well, there was two cop cars. And so if you were to look for my angle, there's a cop car, cop car, G.I. Joe. <laughs> And then a uh, veteran, U.S. veteran, drove up the street with like four flags hanging from his car and like stickers on like the top of the car, the back of the car, the sides of the car, the front of the car, the hood of the car, all kinds of like militarized stickers and all that shit. No, I just got stoned. So I walk in to go to the bathroom. I look to my left like cop car. Of course. <laughs> I say how loud to some chick as I'm walking by. Of course a cop car pull up when I walk. <laughs> And I leave, and then there's another one. Oh, there's two now. <laughs> and then I look to my left, <laughs> and to my right, red and blue. What? See, it happened again. The only two cars to move were a, a blue and a red car. Just now, not those two, but perfect for the video. What? My whole landscape is literally a manifestation in movement. Thank you. Of everything working out. <laughs> and it trips me out every time I get stung. And it scares the shit out of me. <laughs> but it's the truth. So I'm cool with it. But anyway, um, oh yes. The outfit I'm wearing. All the way down to this. If you could see it. <laughs> says level up. I don't know if you can see it because I can't film me and my fucking knee to my face. If I could, I could suck my own dick and I wouldn't be making this video right now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I got these. <laughs> I got these shorts um, from um, Jeff. So a lot has happened. I don't know where they started all that, but I wanted to just catch the reason why I decided to make. And also, before I got in my car, I rolled two um, sixes and I saw two ones opposite of six hanging inside of a car they were black and white dice all blacked out, blacked out and white which is funny because I got the switch recently and when I was looking at the switch when you have it in your hands and you stoned <laughs> and you're looking at this stupid ass thing that is your controller it is yin and yang even the fucking switch emblem is like te technically that yin and yang symbol that one in the middle, the face of it. I mean, it's, it's positive and negative you on the top. Black and white. <laughs> All right, can you get out of my seat, dog? Yeah, look, what are you looking around for? Could you go sit down, please? You got, ew, you got nasty hair in your eyeball. <laughs> ew. Could you go sit in the back? Go on. He was just looking so weird right there. Even in my world, like he was like contemplating. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Is my dog thinking? He just seemed to be like having a moment. And I was like, God damn. You all right? <laughs> three, three, three. On the phone. He was. He's having. But did you not just see that when it was time? Finally, felt when I finally felt it was time to make that video. I had to. I had to get stoned. I'm trying to quit smoking weed, and I know why. It's because I'm putting half of me in the box that is being high. It's something that I can't explain to everybody right now, and I don't have the time to do all that right now. But I knew that I had to go back in life through all the drugs I did and do the challenges, and that that was one of them. One of them's pot. And um, I'm good on doing the challenges now. I got the challenges out of the way. Don't create more challenges and then throw yourself out of the box. But, you know, That's how recovering drug addicts work. On a deeper level, you just never got over that shit. While you were on that shit, you got to get off that shit. Now, you could do that, they say, technically not by doing the drug again. I don't know. There's a great book on how to quit smoking cigarettes by Alan Carr who talks about if you actually did quit and you're still craving them months later and you read this knock you down a peg on uh, wanting to smoke a cigarette which is great and um but the book really works miracles miracles oh it was a miracle i quit smoking cigarettes 444 on the phone it was a miracle i read a book and it solved it to the core because you create your reality so that's why i teach billion index is so low with people like i wasn't really wanting 456 wanting to get out 
and take a walk to that cross gates again with those cops there. In my life, you know, I just was reading this book and it says if you're a Taurus sun or Pisces with Saturn and Aries, I'm a Taurus sun, lots of Taurus, and I got Saturn and Aries. And it said, uh, life will not let you uh, walk away from a fight. Like Saturn's disciplining you as the loving Pisces or Taurus sign that you is from Venus by not letting you walk away from a fight. You can't walk away from fights. So for me, ironically, when you realize that, you create your entire experience, and now you understand why Saturn's so detrimental in Aries, but when you really understand it, you're going to understand it more than anybody because 99% of the time, like I just did, I walked back over to those cops. Not because I really care. At this point, I don't. But I can walk over there and stone as fuck talking to cops all day. I love it. such a cool achievement compared to where I used to be. But I don't want to be stoned anymore. That's not the point. Point is, um, I know it's me. You know, that's my indicator that this is the path. Dude, I've dealt with so many cops. <laughs> it's just like, that's me. That's, that's my energy. What do you mean? Like, if there is, you get off a plane and somebody's holding a sign at the airport, you know you need to get a ride out of the airport. Your next pathway is finding that person, right? My situation isn't so easy. Like, oh, there he is. That's the one. Because then anybody could take that guy and be like, hey, I'm the guy. No. My pathway, if I'm hanging out with, let's say, like, dark fucks, I'm saying that again. And the reason why I'm saying that again is because... <laughs> Sorry. I've explained everything so many times and I couldn't post it or the phone was fucking up. When I got fired from my job, I'm sorry. When I got fired from my job, one of the things, because I never got to fully tell that story, so I'm going to tell that real quick. What I was talking about when I met Jeff just recently, who gave me all these clothes and the long story, all too much, just too fucking much. <laughs> I don't really need to do any of that, but I, I'm trying. You're an ass. <laughs> I got my energy in this video. It doesn't really matter. The truth is you're enjoying, you could enjoy just that. That's the truth. Because it'll line up in your reality, all those doors too. Hopefully it don't seem as fucking rough as mine is. But that's why I'm breaking uh, curses and breaking things that people can't. Because like I was just explaining with the airport thing, my situation is that one, nobody will take. So if I'm hanging out with dark fucks in the case of negative people, um, yeah, it's going to play out to where they're the ones that get arrested. They can be right next to me. Like It's just like it's like the universe comes in. It's like confiscating fake shit, even though it always seems to be attacking me, but it's not attacking me. It's just that ego thought that, you know, ego's last stand is the body. Aries, it like risks his body doing everything. So Saturn does that to you. Like Saturn makes me cross, jump over um, airport fences and Native American territory and like break into houses kind of situations. Not that I've done that last one like that. Not that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it makes me go through, you know, places and situations like that. Ones that are at such levels that a criminal wouldn't do it because if a criminal breaks into a room, they have bad intentions. I have to do it in a loving, caring way. Like I didn't hop over an airport fence with like negative intentions. I just didn't accept any when I was there. And when all the cops came, the military police came, and all of them came, I was just having fun ca counting the cars. Ooh, another car. <laughs> so, you know, I got a lot of energy on it. And that's why just now I manifested a bunch of cool shit. And when I went back to record it, I manifested again a bunch of cool shit. And then they had somebody look me in the eye like, you're stoned and we know it. And I was all like, recording video. <laughs> Uh, hey, welcome back to the channel. You know, and then he, dude, dude was behind me right before I clicked play. I didn't bury it up because fuck him. But anyway, I don't go all over the goddamn place. It's not fair. <laughs> I don't want to make the video yet. I got stoned, and the universe is like, now's the time. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> so you want to get stoned? <laughs> That's what I mean about running away from battles. It's just a lot harder in my life. The one that's why I need to quit weed too. Because the one time I did run away from any battle, I didn't really run away from it. But I knew I was unprepared. It was being in the hood in Hyde Park in St. Louis from uh I heard some gunshots like right outside my door. Look out the back window, see a bunch of people running to the basement door, and we were upstairs and then Russia kicked over the couch, pulled out his fucking pistol, and I was all like super stoned with this stripper, and I was like I <laughs> just smoke them once. <laughs> I was like, not ready. Because <laughs> can't put out the aggression energy to get you to shut the fuck up and stop trying to point a gun in my face and or get the gun out of my face. Because all that talk ain't talk. If I'm talking, it's because I'm about to do it. But I'm so stoned now, I can't talk it into existence. And I'd be a lie. <laughs> and I'm not much relying. So, oh, shit. <laughs>
<laughs> all four. I mean, all forms of like, you know, normally I'd look, there'd be a broom handle or something. There would be because it manifests all the time in the right place. That's how it is. But if you're not happy, you're not feeling good. It just don't work that way. Or all the things that are there for you, like I'm describing to you, even if you have the worst placements or you don't know your astrology. So if, even if you don't know your astrology, it doesn't matter. The point is that the worst that it can throw at you really is your tool. Whatever you put out came back. So if you really understood this, it's not that people don't have influence in your life. They do. They're resonating and vibrating at their own level and they want to come into your life and go, yeah, you do this too. And you're like, no, I'm so chipper. And you're like, no. You're like, yeah, no. <laughs> you can see yeah, it all day and this shit ain't doing nothing because as long as you can you can act like you, know, you can fake it you can say words that sound negative but you could see that there's an actual feeling good feeling bad would have been walking through that and having that guy go you're stoned and I would have been all like oh <laughs> I am. I'm not qualified. One, one, one on the phone uh, to do this. Wait, I am. Fuck you. Who's <laughs> bitch chosen by God? <laughs> it's fuck. Who is you? <laughs> it's so true. I really think about it on my level. It's like, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm supposed to be dead here. I'm like, given a second chance to walk across this earth. <laughs> Fucking walk. Why did I say walk? Better than crawl. <laughs> I was gonna say crawl across this earth. <laughs> Oh, man. Why don't run? Yeah. Walk. Steadfast pace. God, I'm too loopy right now. All right. So anyway, point. <laughs> I'm too loopy. It's the weed. <laughs> weed. It's too much. No, it's not that because I feel better. I'd rather just be happy all day and not have to look on the ground. Oh, I didn't explain. Man, there's so much I have not explained. All I've kept saying is that over and over again. Oh. Got a job. Got a tech. The, the real sum up would be I got a job. I got attacked by dark forces of energy that wasn't mine. Could tell this wasn't mine. Everyone thinks I'm racist or some shit. All I did was walk in and tell you that that bitch was jerking off broom handle because that's what happened. But every time I talk, they all start reacting. And I'm all like, all right. Like they just won't let. They won't, there's a reason why this shit can't come out to anybody. You can watch my shit and be ignorant as fuck. It, things will happen though when you actually be trying to lis listen to actually trying to listen like forces don't want you to in a sense i'm not trying to spellbound that more i'm just saying that's the truth that's that's why it's so true because when you realize you create your entire reality you will see the evidence but there will be a few things in this reality where you go well this is happening and you go yeah <laughs> that's interesting and you go well i didn't ask for that i've been stupidly happy all day and it's been years even and it, well you won't even get that far because you'll start to you'll get attacked more <laughs> But let's say you did it at a slower pace and you were figuring yourself out. At any point, when you start crossing over barriers in the ways that I'm describing, you will realize there ain't all sunshine and rainbows out here. <laughs> there are certain forces, aka maybe it'll just be a person. And you're not wise enough to know there's a who do you listen to behind that person. And it goes back ways in ways that you can't imagine that you can't imagine if you listen <laughs> and we tell you about it. We might not be able to believe that far back. Therefore, it doesn't matter if we tell you about it. So the point is the person walks up to your life and you don't like that person. They got bad vibes. I mean, that's kind of the dude who gave me this stuff. And his energy, if you were to look at it as he does manifest his whole reality, you could get all so whacked out. But still, that point is held. There is a reason uh, that. He got a job or lived in a situation at the same time I got the job and he was talking about his wife, girlfriend cheating on him. Two weeks total in this whole story. It's too deep to explain. But the point is I could sync up the timeline of me getting the job, me yelling at the manager the next day, getting fired on the same day. And then we both meet here and I just find some roaches on the side of Walmart that I haven't smoked any weed in like a month. And I just find some roaches. Okay, maybe like not a month. Ooh, ooh, since I was in New York City, uh, Central Park, whenever that video was. Where, look up um, Lost in Manhattan. Whenever that one was, that was the last time I smoked weed. And I find some roaches right here. I made the decision at 1421, 421, to jump into that world, and I did. And then I meet this guy. Now, it all kind of is leading into itself and all that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why breaking cycles is difficult. That's why also when you have good cycles, it's very difficult for people to break them for you. So it's really cool. It's good. Works out to your advantage when you change it, when you make unconscious competence, when you're unaware of your abilities to do things properly. All that shit in life that is attacking you every day, today, bullshit, that is just life, it's things outside of you that seem so irrelevant to your control, 
all of it, is in your control. That said, you will still be attacked by influences, aka you have the opportunity to choose if you want to accept their invite you know like <laughs> kind of like on a computer you might click the mail it's a spam mail this doesn't have a bright irl <laughs> you know there's a couple indicators that this is meant to fuck you over then <laughs> you might click it now you got a virus <laughs> that's reality people walk into your world with fucked up shit fucked up shit all day long you can choose not to fuck with it at all you can choose to tell it to suck dick you can fight back there's a lot of options but you always got a path that leads you to untouchable the best way I can put it and it's feeling good right now it's feeling good as you can and it's always leading in that direction anyway because you would feel amazing if this was all meant to be and life all shifted around you in ways you couldn't imagine. That's why you're not one of the billionaires <laughs> or uh, one of the other fucking people enjoying their life at a crazy level that you ain't. And I am. Like, I am crazy. I am enjoying my life. There's moments. I was just having one of those moments a minute ago, and that's why it doesn't surprise me that everything peaked out just now because don't, don't let that outside of you elude you. The fact that my feelings changed usually tells me that something's popping up. Just like in my last video. Thank you, Car. Just like in my last video, I felt that dude pop up before he manifested. That's why I'm not really too worried about bringing up the whole story of all that because I've tried many times and there's probably a reason why I failed. This is like the third or fourth time I've made a video trying to talk about it. And that's why I was just too damn stoned and I just saw all that magic. I described the fact that there's a red, that's twin flame energy. I've been connected with my twin flame a lot. I got to talk to uh, my twin flame, which I'm going to just say me because I'm not going to try to say it because it's... I'm at that level where I'm quite aware that that's, you know, for instance, there was a time where I was in a house, a dope house, and there was mirrors in this house. And I was just told in the same book that I read the Tories and Aries thing about Saturn and Aries, the same person, same vessel. Who do you listen to? When somebody has the information you want, if you continue to listen to them, it's amazing how far you could get in ways you can't imagine. So the fact that I felt an indicator that this is the right source, it was the only book left in the building when I got it, out of all of them, I was like, oh. And so anyway, um, what did he say? Oh, brain fart. <laughs> Bastard car. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> what did he say? God damn. He says, stop smoking marijuana, you idiot. No, he said, <laughs> he said, there's that truck. See, that truck had the message felt it go around a corner, right? Or sign rules quarters. Shut up. <laughs> he said, uh, Venus rules mirrors. Venus rules mirrors. And uh, I'm a Taurus Libra. Very Venusian. South Northern Pisces. Very, exalted in Venus. Very Venusian in this life. And I've looked in the mirror once in my life. In this dope house. And watched my hands. Talk to me. They said hi. <laughs> I was like what the fuck. <laughs> I was sober. Or at least coming off of. Went to bed. Woke up. <laughs> But you can judge all you want. I don't give a fuck. I mean, I don't care if you're sober. And I said I was sober. You still wouldn't believe me if you're a daughter anyway. So I really don't give a shit. <laughs> but anyway, I had my hands wave to me and talk to me like they were their own puppets. A lot of people who write books talk about this. They're, anyway, but I have Gemini in the third house in my Mars. Mars is in the third house. Virgo, communication. I sacrificed my hands up to the... Da, 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 when I walk towards my death, da, 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 all that's great. The Gemini rules um, the twins. I was in Hyde Park, then I made it to Jekyll Island. I was fucking in the hood of Hyde Park, dealing with shit. Then I went skinny dipping on Jekyll Island in Florida. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, it, interesting. And when I was watching a video about somebody else talking about the hands, um, he said, Mars and Gemini is murder hands, murderer hands. <laughs> hands of murder. They like to do weapons and shit. I do staff. Yeah, and Iron Palm. I like to bash my hands against shit. Makes me feel great. <laughs> hands of the murderer. I would choke you out if I could kill you. If I could kill you, I'd choke you out. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't. All the people that ignore or would say have an opinion on all this shit, you're fake as fuck. You know, and I wouldn't want you near me. we will be in a situation where dark forces attack, and you're like, I would never. <laughs> well, I'm going to get stabbed because you would never. Oh. Hurtful. <laughs> I'd stick this dude in the face with the staff. I had it. Stick this. Do you think that's a dude? I can dent trees with a staff. Just poking a tree. Thank you. That's a confirmation. Fucking jab that. Yeah. Oh, my whole body. Oh, yeah. Trust me. <laughs> You'll be thanking me for throat chopping somebody. You'll be like, that's so cruel. <laughs> you know what?
I would never. So you're somebody to get killed because you would never. All right. <laughs> I don't, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, this video's all over the place. It, it's meant to be because I feel great and that's how I know I'm on point. And if you watch this, you will feel great too. Because first and foremost, above everything else, you want to feel better now. And that's the fucking truth. Man, I got a job, sexually harassed, talking to the manager. She was like, you need to work as a team now. That's what's happening. And I was like, oh, this is all about Sophie. And she was all like, ooh, he's talking back because the dark force inside did not think I'd bring it up. I was like, you damn right. On the deepest level, her security of I am in charge and the manager. And where all that comes from, the strength that you have, where that comes from, even my screen just lit up, the strength of where that comes from doesn't hit as hard as where mine comes from. So you're going to falter so quick. It's so cute. <laughs> you know? I'm all like, oh, you think I'm going to take your shit? And she was all like, oh. I was like, you may want to sit here and they're getting sexually harassed by a bitch jerking off broom handles. I can't hear this. I need a witness. And she gets a witness and the witness is right there. You're my witness. And he was a Scorpio. And I know the guy. I'm not going to get too deep into all that because he's already too deep and he all knows it. We don't even need any communication. That's what I love about this Scorpio, this other manager who is the witness. And, I, and she starts talking and I said something about, yeah, I'm not going to let some dark person destroy my blah, 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 blah. Of how, but at this moment, she's looking at me with a what'd you say dark person and i was all like no not the fact that she's black you fuck where did that come from and that all played out so basically i walked in for my break after i was sexually harassed by a chick the day before who i didn't want to fuck for days before like weeks and i didn't want to fuck so she got upset about it there's that cop <laughs> She got upset about it. Yeah, but she is. <laughs> and the other white car's moving now. What the fuck, Domino? <laughs> and, um, woo! Don't you stop <laughs> believing. <laughs> Hold on to that feeling. <laughs> woo! <Whoa>. All right. <laughs> anyway, and the uh, point is, I'm sitting there, they come in from break. I'm all over the place in the story. That's how chaotic the energy was. God, I'm literally watching my reality shapeshift around me as I speak it into existence. It's so hard to stay focused. when I <laughs> This is how you hack everything around you, which is great, but th that's the loophole of it. It's so distracting. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I know, cars. <laughs> you don't get it. See, in your life... You could be where I'm, if you're not, if they're not sticking up with you. Everything may be happening around you, but it ain't happening with you. My crystal is literally glowing. I have a crystal right here that's glowing. I'm not going to try to prove it. I just, because that, that ain't going to work, I feel that. But it's glowing when I'm talking. And see, the light from the trees moving, all of it, doesn't matter. It all lining up perfectly from the appearance of my crystal to be lighting up and talking to me. It's so cool. 23, 23. So cool. Anyway, god damn. <laughs> yeah, so a bunch of bullshit happened. I came on a break. The whole point of the whole story is sometimes in life, the craziest shit imaginable will happen. So much so that it's so impossible to even describe. Point is, if you sit there and you fight all day to maintain your happiness. Like, all right, I don't care. You're jerking off, literally jerking off broom handles, kissing them. Here's another one and a mop one and you're squeezing it out. Nope. Not gonna fuck you or your sister. Weeks go by. They get mad about it. Everybody starts attacking you for no fucking reason. Yeah, you're a high vibrational being. You're aiming to be this, so you already are. Go for it. So now that you're there and you're always happy. You've been happy all day. Next day happens. Things are gonna happen. There's a lag effect between your reality coming in, being perfect all the time. Things are trying to stop you from getting there too. Somewhat so of the reason why there is a lag effect in the first place. I'm not trying to get into all of that. There's too much happening in reality to explain it all. But the point is you're going to try to be happy. You might get sexually harassed. You might not do anything about it too much because you're just, you know, not trying to be too cruel because it really doesn't bother you. Oh. And then that person gets pissed off about it. Now other people get pissed off about it. Now you got a manager talking to you, down to you. No worries. Now she's screaming at you. <laughs> 
<laughs> because you're telling her to your face everything you need to say to make yourself feel better. You know, you need to do that. You need to do that. If you're getting raped by a family member and the counselor's like, so everything going good? And your fucking rapist family member looks at you and go, yeah, everything going good for you, daughter? You need to say, yeah, that bitch is raping me. And I don't like it. And in my, that's the thing. You're living in a world where that, the concept I'm describing to you is how all those, those situations I just described play out. Because the motherfuckers that are ruling this world in dark ways no damn well you ain't gonna stand up here and see it exist all day. You know how many kids, family members, parents, everything you in your own life already proven been fucked over by the fact that you just didn't speak up. Speak up about it. So anyway, I was speaking up about it. And she's all like, no, 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 we settled this. You're racist. And no, she thought I was racist. I settled the fact that that's not what I said. And then she wanted me to be left now that we handled this. And you heard me. You're going to just be depressed now working on backlight. And I'm like, no, I'm not. So I just started talking about how, isn't it funny? I came in from break and I'm right and you're wrong. And she's like way over here. And I'm like, and you want me to feel bad when I didn't do anything? <laughs> Emotional damage. That's what you tried to do to me. Not happening. It doesn't happen. And I basically tell that chick, have a great night. The next day pops up, I go to work, and they're watching me on the back cameras. I'm walking, and I can't clock on. And so I talk to the, another higher-up that's there, and it plays out to where she's, like, talking to me, and I start talking again the way I feel like it. And she's like, oh, no, you need to shut up. We need to move you over here. Why would you talk like that in front of Frontline? And I'm all like, what do you mean? And she goes, well, first off, why are you assuming we're watching your cameras? Bitch, I'm watching you watch me on camera. <laughs> it's like space balls. Everything we do here is happening here. Like, is this just, what? Is this a movie? This is why it's so cool. It's like a movie. I was watching this all play out. I'm like, what are y'all retarded? <laughs> and then I, and then she moves me next to a mother and a kid and brings up, now what's your problem? And I'm like, I was sexually harassed. Why did you pick the location with the kid and the mother? I was talking in a perfectly fine location. Then you moved me thinking it wasn't okay. And now there's a mother and kid. And when I brought it all up, I was so comfortable bringing it up. Did you know that mother and kid, one table next to me had an actual real conversation. They were like talking about their favorite, like dinosaur or some toy. And they were actually, the mother gave a fuck and the child gave a fuck. They were having a, you know, a real conversation, not eat your fries, sit down, take this, open that. It's not a conversation. It's about like two people conversating at a big age group, mother and father, mother and son. And so it didn't even matter because I was telling the truth and it's all an illusion. Now, a bunch of other people that were like 60 years old got up and were like, I can't believe you would bring up sexual harassment and left like they were offended. But why the fuck is it the mother and son next to me? Any of them. They weren't even touched by my energy because they were so pure. I was staying pure. So when I attacked... The manager, even other people vibing low, like her customers that are old, sitting in the corner, have done shit, no offense, just because you're old doesn't mean you get respect from me. Uh, I don't give a fuck. You know how many rapists and murderers are out there that are old? You know, you just real brainwashy bullshit. So the point is, I say, I say something and it folds her, folds them, doesn't crumple the people next to me. So there's really no debate about that. And the same, after I mentioned it, she gets she gets a phone call, my manager, and stops listening to me because I was being too truthful. So somebody had to call her to get her distracted. And anybody that answers a phone call after I bring up sexual harassment, 20 seconds or less in, you don't really give a fuck, do you? See, that's the world you live in. And just because I'm a guy and, and I'm not pressing charges or nothing, I'm just saying that that's what that was. She like pokes me and do all kinds of shit. So it escalates to a point where, um, you know, besides the funny part of me telling her about the cameras, I'm watching you watch me. As a, you know, so she leaves because I'm t t telling too much truth. And I basically work for another hour and a guy comes up and goes, hi, my name's this. You got everything you need out of the store? We need to talk outside. And I'm like, I need my water bottle and my check because <laughs> I got paid that day. This is the next day. I didn't crumple. I let them fire me. It was the right path. I wasn't going to quit this time. I always kept quitting. That's why I keep working at McDonald's. Something needs to end with this stupid McDonald's cycle in my life. I even brought up how I'm not going to work at McDick's no more. So it makes sense that something's got to end here because it is a problem in my own way, in my life. So with that said, um, I go outside and there's two cops. 
and another manager is a witness. And the guy looks at me and says, so I hear you don't like working with black people. <laughs> Which had nothing to do with anything I fucking said. And you could totally get upset, but I'm not. 30 minutes ago, exactly. I'm not upset. Because I know this is all like a movie. It's life's a play. Fire burns the reality. That's why Leo is one of the three fire signs. It's a play. It's a sketch. It's already set up in a way. Prior. You manifest it all ahead of time. That's why there's a lag effect. So it doesn't surprise me that I'm dealing with this now. Other people have an influence. The guy who gave me the clothes that I'm wearing right now have a fucking influence. Even the fact that I'm describing this at 3020 and the cop car is 20. 30 minutes in. 20 seconds in. 30, 20, 20 pops up right then as he's curving next to me. All that shit. 3, 3, 3. To play. To play. I use numbers to track items in the play. And when the props come in, they're, they're supposed to come in at a certain times. And I like to track the props. That's, I guess you could say. <laughs> if this cuts out at any time, it's all right. Because my energy is highly vibrational and in it. And I can feel it. And you're doing great. Uh, if you're watching this. So... <laughs> But anyway, um, mostly for me, and I like to hear my own stories because I'm a Libra moon. I like to hear myself talk. What else to say? Oh, yeah, so I go outside, and when the guy mentions the fact that, oh, so you uh, hate black people. There's a lot of – see how I told you my ticket is the guy holding the sign near like a fucking grinder, meat grinder. Jump on in. No, oh, it's all illusion. It's like – Fucking Indiana Jones, when he gets to the Holy Grail, the last one is you got to leap from the lion's head, 31, 31, across this bat. You're going to die. Nobody would, you know what I mean? Like, let's say the guy holding the sign for your ride home is on the other side of that bridge. That's mine every time. All the cops, everything. It's always like with guns and death. That's why I get – that's why it's so cool to be me because now the universe gives me manifestations of skulls, crossbones, a bunch of deadly looking shit that other people that are gothic, wear gothic shit, didn't really earn. And that's really cool because I get to earn it. I earned it. That's why I like it. I've dealt with all kinds – even the person I got these clothes from, I earned it. it. took days and I gave him 30 bucks and food and a bunch of shit but even his life – all played into an effect of why I got this job at McDonald's to just come into his life. And that's why he had nice clothes. So I earned it. Out of the challenges, which started not when I met him, but when I got a job at McDonald's. And had to deal with the racism, the sexual harassment. All this stuff that he probably portrays in his actual life and gets back to him. And that's how we met up. But I got my shit. That sounds weird. It's not about the item. It's, ener it's an energetic reason. For me. At my current teachability index. You you have other current teachability indexes. You have other things right in front of you that you need to go out and you need to go handle. And it's the first thing in front of you. And that's different. But anyway, the same um, principles for how to map reality is what I'm giving you. And that's the important thing. How do you do that? Feel good all the time. So for me, my danger situations, the guy holding that, I feel good now jumping over. Ca Indiana Jones can do that again. Even if he never threw sand to see it, once he knew that he could jump over that chasm and he wasn't going to die, which I did. I walked with my death. Once you do things like that, now it's great because nobody else can get to the guy with your ride. He's safely secured behind fear itself like you couldn't. It's a darkness. It's just one little step that no one will take. But that's it because if you did, you know there wouldn't be anything to fear. That's the point. That's why it's the first thing in front of you. But right now, it looks like a gathering leap of death for everybody else. And that's why I like it. I like my life. So, um, you know, go outside. Oh, two cops. You know, that dude, you know, I could see other people now that I'm at the level I'm at, which is so far. Um, you know, if a manager at a job pulled you to the side with cops, you might feel a certain way. <laughs> Not me. And right, right, <laughs> and right when he goes, well, we hear you don't like black people. And I go, well, you want me to tell you what happened? Or he said, no, I want you to tell me what you think, what you said. And so at that exact moment, I shut him down and I started screaming about how I came to this job and got sexually harassed and blah, blah, blah. And I didn't want to fuck the bitch. And I looked one of the officers in the eye and I said, how would you like it if I sat here and dry humped a fucking freezer for eight hours? Cop gets crumpled. I'm not trying to hurt the cop, though, because he was a nice cop, and I never directly energy attacked any of them. But when I fucking decided that now I own this situation, I have to. So with that said, I looked the cop in the eye, said that story, and he was like, oh. So he was listening, because that's what happened. 
I dealt with a chick jerking off broom handles and shit for like eight hours all day and touching me. Only a couple times. Fingers. Touched me a couple times. And because I ain't getting crumpled by it, it keeps getting worse. And I don't really give a fuck how if everybody listening to me talking and describing this whole situation really gets anything. The whole point is I'm dominating all of you. I'm in charge. I am right. I know I'm right. I know I'm right so much so I'm willing to risk it all. Because if you're wrong, even a little bit, to any degree, you can't risk it all because you're wrong about something. And you ain't you if you ain't happy. And what is deception, lies, deceit, not feeling good? The fact that you're doing something based upon a principle or concept at the core which isn't feeling good means you're going to crumple because you ain't even there. And that thing that I'm describing is how darkness flows into the world that you live in, in the ethers of everyday reality. And you swim through these ethers every day. So, <laughs> once I decided, who do you listen to? None of these fucks. You're all like trying to portray racism and sexual, all this energy that I don't really give a fuck about and I didn't really do anything. And now you're trying to say I'm racist when, you know, all this shit. So I crumpled them and I walked away and had a good time and get, got my check coming towards me. And, you know, and then I met the guy. And then when I met the guy who's responsible for all this kind of energy, I helped him out. And he tried hustling me in a thousand one ways, three, six, nine. And I said no to a fucking thousand things. And he was looked at me in the eye. I was like, well, what if it rains tomorrow and I'm stuck outside? He's a snake. He's a snake in the grass. Now I seen him today when I got these shorts, it took three days and a lot of deception. But it was so funny because when I got these shorts, I got them at the address, which was so cool. I can't say the exact address because that is rude. Fuck. But it just popped up a minute ago. That's so funny. Anyway, and so it was on High Street on Green Island in New York. So I had to pick up the dude who I got weed with the first time. That the that, that, uh, next you know days go by, I'm trying to get these shorts. I finally get them. I have to go to Green Island on High Street. At a certain number, that's the funniest number. Yeah, and anyway, I got the shorts, and I he, he's a Virgo, so he's a shapeshifter. And it's funny because there was a Virgo full moon that just happened, and I gave him a hoodie. I had two items of clothes given to me by two magical people. One was a chick up in Michigan, her pants. It had my name, it said, um, and it was something I actually liked. So I was trying to trade good energy with somebody because that was one of the items that I liked. And then I had an item that I didn't like at all, who I got from the orphan. Who I drove down here was a Virgo, Virgo Scorpio, Dark World. And uh, he picked the Virgo item over the Capricorn item. So he gave me Virgo pants that had my energy on it. Literally got this emblem on it. And it says level up. I'm a Taurus who think life's a game. I got that from him. And the blue shirt off the bed, it all matched anyway. But I didn't want the shirt one of the pants. So he had me, he had something I wanted, ah, and I'm dealing with it, but anyway, uh, when I met him again, he was Virgo, so he shape-shifted into, I don't have those problems, like he really did, he was cool, I like Virgos, um, it was a day where I was cool with fucking with him, and uh, it felt good, and I'm happy I gave him, out of ha the money I had, I couldn't let him sink my ship, I gave him six bucks, I only had 12 bucks at the time, I gave him that, I gave him the rest of my roast beef and my bread, and I gave him my beat pods because in his life he found pods and we both had items out of our pockets we could pull necklaces and bracelets that we both had because we synced up so when that and I explained all that to him and he actually took it pretty well though he was a manipulative fuck anyway so um and I do love him but uh I'm done with that energy 6111 40 minutes in it's not gonna last much longer I know it Anyway, I guess I'm going to enjoy my day. A lot's happened. I've had a lot of great Twin Flame moments, and I appreciate that. Really appreciate the, the, the moments. I'm not even going to get too much into it all, but it's been with my Switch, my Dice, my Tarot. It's been really cool. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I'm going to end this. I have a feeling to end this now. Um, so much has happened. I can't tell it all. Thank you. But uh, I hope you have a good day if you're watching this. I'm going to – I got my own challenges I got to do. One of them is – it's not really a challenge, but I got to quit smoking pot. I just feel better not smoking pot all the goddamn – because now it's – I have to smoke pot to feel me. You know this. That's what I was talking about being put in the box. You're not you unless you're high. There's a concept there, and you have to steal your soul back. So I got to take – do that process. Anyway, I love you guys. Keep fucking rocking it. <laughs> <laughs>